Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, son, TJ, here to review Dragon Ball Super Episode 57. My apologies for our really late review. I know almost every Dragon Ball YouTuber on YouTube has done a video of this already. Even Mozaku's lazy ass got a video out before me. My apologies. You know, a lot of things have happened. I'll explain why after I finish reviewing this episode. But let's get, let's dive right in to the review. So, this is the continuation of the Goku Black fights with Goku... Goku and Future Trunks fighting Zomatsu and Goku Black. Now let's talk about this. The first half of this episode is legit pure action with different animators actually on top of their game. We have a lot of weird stuff going on with the power scaling though. But that's literally the only negative I can see out of this. Uh, but yeah, the fighting was amazing. You really gotta just watch the episode to see it. We have even the animator from Battle of Gods. Remember that awesome scene when Goku turned Super Saiyan? Then he fought Beerus when it was in the sky? That was that animator when when uh, Goku and Future Trucks teamed up. And it was fight. It was just an amazing scene in general. We get some information that Goku Black can use instant transformation. This was shown in the manga, but that here and then it was it was hinted at in the anime. But in this one, they he, we see Goku Black actually fully out using the instant transformation. Uh, we we get uh, information that Zomatsu has an immortal body because at the end of the episode we see that uh, well not at the end of the episode, a preview of the episode we see that uh, present Zomatsu because I don't know if this is the same Zomatsu but this is future Zomatsu and future Zomatsu has immortal body and in, uh, in the preview for the next episode present Zomatsu is going to go wish for immortal body by the Super Dragon Balls and um. Yeah, a lot of people are really afraid that Goku is going to win this because a lot of people are hating on my boy Goku, you know, just saying that he doesn't deserve his W's even though he's really got any W's we actually pay attention to the series, but fuck it. So, <laughs> you can tell I'm getting kind of salty about it. But anyway, continue. so it ends up being that Goku and um, Future Trunks um, get taken down by Goku Black when Somatsu grabs both of them and it pretty much tanks the the black man mayo wave and it also shows you how powerful future trunks is because the motherfucker ain't dead don't know why fuck it at this point we got to readjust the power scaling okay just deal with it <laughs> just deal with it but um yeah and then once they're both taken down goku black and zomasu team up for this giant they, they combine the uh, red ball and the blue ball to make a giant purple ball and they're about to destroy everyone but then vegeta everyone's favorite apparently <laughs> It gets up. There's like a final flash type attack. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Future Trunks did use the final flash in this episode. It was really cool. Um, the thing is, right, these characters are so much more powerful than their DBZ counterparts. But you would think like that much power would be shown more. But whatever, fuck it. I, I enjoy that Future Trunks learned the final flash. It, uh, man, it was just so much great action in this episode. I know I'm kind of rambling, but you know, I haven't reviewed in a while. So fuck it, whatever. Now... Yeah, both Goku and Future Trunks are defeated, but Vegeta comes in with the final flash and stops that noise. And once they're distracted, Yajirobe comes in, Future Yajirobe. He saves Goku and Future Trunks, but he says that he can't save Vegeta because he only has like two arms. So the humans come in, and this shit is kind of weird, bro, because somehow these bombs are able to affect Zomatsu and Goku Black. Like they're able to disturb them, so they have to get out of it or some shit. I will rock with it, okay? They're trying their best to show weaknesses so these characters can actually do something, which I appreciate because you don't want characters too powerful, which a lot of characters can't do anything. But uh, Future Mai does save Vegeta, and pretty much Future Mai puts everyone into the time machine, and uh, we have this emotional moment with Future Mai and Future Trunks, you know, pretty much talking about, you know, the whole lovey-dovey, I want you to come with me, you're not coming with me, you're the help of the universe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they come back to the present time, they're all fucked up, Bulma's, Bulma's surprised, and then we cut over to Gowasu. And Gowasu is watching Dragon Ball Super on God YouTube or Kami YouTube. Whatever, Kami Tube. <laughs> it's, the, it's the most meta dumb shit you ever see. <laughs> but they use this to show how uh, President Zomasu learns that Goku, a mere human, quote unquote, has the ability to go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue, which means that humans have the power to destroy more stuff with God Key, pretty much making him want to go to the evil side even more. It um the episode ends when you know <laughs> so Masu pucking the fuck out of Zuno and Zuno is different from Zeno. Zuno's the fat ass who knows everything apparently, <laughs> and that's how the episode ends. And I already told you about the preview. The preview shows that Zomasu, Prince Zomasu, 
goes to the Super Dragon Balls, go for an Immortal Body. But um, another thing that happens uh, apparently in the preview, um, Wish and Beerus and um, Easter Supreme Kai. We still don't know this guy's name. It's funny. We learned Zomasu and Gowasu's name instead of just Kai. We still haven't learned Supreme Kai, Eastern Supreme Kai's real name. So whatever. But yeah, man. Um, for overall, I don't think this episode is all the way better than uh, episode 56. Because episode 56 is way more kind of consistent with his, uh, with his more animation flow. Like, don't wrong. The animation in this episode, a lot of scenes are better than episode 56. But I think 56 um, was more consistent overall. Because after that half point, it kind of went back to normal Dragon Ball Super kind of art. But yeah, I love the choreography. Um... I gotta really bounce out the. Um, here's my here's my whole discussion about the power scaling. I the only thing I can see from this is that Future Trunks got a rage boost. That's what we can tell from here. Maybe we got a rage boost. Maybe we got that furious mutation that his father had. You know something like that. And or maybe he just got a big Zenkai boost from getting his ass whooped from Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I don't know. Uh, so far from the feet shown, it looks like Goku Black. The thing is, Goku Black may be holding back a lot because he hasn't taken a single scratch. If you look throughout these entire fights. Goku Black doesn't have a scratch on him. So I don't know if he's holding back or not, but he looks like he's a little bit stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And with the next rematch, I don't even know if Goku and Vegeta are going to need to fuse. I think Goku just needs to use Kaioken because I really want to give Goku Black the, the benefit of the doubt here, but he's his feet so far, he doesn't seem like he's more powerful than Hit. Because when Hit, he dominated. Like once he started proving, he made sure that Goku, in order to fuck with me, you're going to need Kaioken. And Goku, he was holding his own kind of well. It was kind of, you know, the thing with the whole Zomatsu and Goku Black fight. It kind of remind me a lot of Future Gohan versus the Androids. You know, because the how they was moving, it really remind me of the animated special with uh, with the Future Tongue story. So that you know, it kind of coincides there. But um, yeah, man, it was a lot of positive this episode. Hopefully, Vegeta fans could chill out. That Vegeta did save the day. Okay, stop being so goddamn triggered. <laughs> But um, yeah, but overall the power scaling, I say that Future Trunks based on this episode, and if it doesn't get contradicted in later episodes, he looks more impressive than um, Golden Frieza. Because remember, Golden Frieza dominated a pre three year hyperbolic time chamber Goku Super Saiyan Blue, and Future Trunks is like keeping up with them. Like either he's on par with Golden Frieza, weaker or stronger. He's around that level. For everyone telling me all this time that Future Trunks is like only Maj Buu Saga. Yet again, I'm right, bitch. <laughs> also, I'll continue to curse and do my jokes and stuff because what I've heard over these YouTube rules it only affects the titles and the tags. And my tags, I'm too lazy to change them shits. And for um, for the curse words, I'll just put like you know like a number sign between the fuck or the the X between nigga, something like that. I don't you know just keep it there. Also, another reason that um, my video came out later than usual, in all honesty, I just, I was really just feeling really passive and angry. I went on jogs, you know, trying to run that shit out. And I really didn't want to bring that negativity to my videos because, like, these, these videos represent the best part of me and my creative side and what I want to be in a career. And um, the last thing I need to do is bring my negativity and um, what, what I'm struggling in real life to people that see my videos and actually, you know, find happiness in them. And they come, they come to me for my videos to make their day happier. Um, I'll, I'll sometimes share, you know, my depressing stories and stuff like that to help me. But a majority of the time, I want to make my videos positive and entertaining for y'all. But um, I think I've covered everything. Um, I might do a video on how strong is Future Trunks now or how Goku Black is. But I might wait for more feats. Because I know Geekdom is low-key throwing disses about people making how strong is videos uh, before we get the full feats. <laughs> he's not throwing disses at me. But, like, it's, it's weird, right? Because he's saying it. And, like, that's some stuff I kind of do. So, whatever. But um, yeah, if you like the video, man, like the video, I'm glad you checked it out. I know there's a lot of videos out there. I already said that since the beginning, but I want to retell you. I really appreciate you coming to the video. Share if you want to. So yeah, son, to job. Peace. Love you all. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all want to get the memo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental. And anything I got is not a rental. I own that motherfucker. Figure it out, this shit is simple. Blowing up like a crescendo A bunch of handshakes from the face